I'll be showing the brand new PowerPoint presenter view in Microsoft Teams. I'm signed into my meeting and I'm the organizer of the presenter and I'm going to go to the share tray in the upper right and click share content. Now you have all the normal options you've seen. I could share my desktop, I could share a window, but we're going to go way over here on the right where you see PowerPoint. And there's a couple of examples here, but I'm going to upload a brand new presentation into presenter mode. So I'll click browse and choose a PowerPoint deck and choose upload from my computer in this case. I'll choose my solar system deck. So it's going to upload the PowerPoint into this new presenter mode. Here's presenter mode, and this is what you see as a presenter behind the scenes. It's sort of like the PowerPoint presenter mode in standalone, but this is now built into Teams. First off, I can see all the notes for any slides over here on the right. So I have my solar system slide and here are some notes that I might be taking. Along the bottom, this is kind of like that slide sort of view. If I need to jump ahead to a different slide, I can do that. If I want to navigate over here, my Neptune slide, I can jump ahead really easily and use this little scroll bar on the bottom. There's also just the basic slide controller. So right now I'm on slide 7 to 15. If I want to go backwards, I click the back button. And what you'll see down at the bottom, it goes to slide six. So that's highlighted in red. If I want to go forwards and whenever I click the little navigate forward here, what everyone else will see is the same thing. So this is the basic navigating through the slides using these arrows here. And you can see that red highlight below. What's also really cool in this new presenter mode is I can see all the videos below. So it's been a big request to be able to see videos while I'm presenting of the people who are in the meeting but I can also go here and click the chat. So I can now see chat and videos and the slides. So I can see that there's a chat happening over here on the right. If I wanna see any participants, I can see that here and I can access the menu and choose all the other choices that I might want to do while I'm in the meeting. Then this presenter view kind of behind the scenes. Now on the other side of this, what the attendees will see, I'll flip over and show what that view looks like. So I'm signed in as Ella, the attendee. You can see I've got this little slide control here. So I could jump ahead or go, ahead. maybe I missed a slide, I wanna go back and see one, or maybe I wanna jump ahead a few slides. That allows me to do that as an attendee. Now back to the presenter, I can lock that and make it so no one can jump ahead. If I don't want them going too far ahead of my slides, I can lock that. I'll switch back to Kara and show how the presenter can do that on her side. Back as Kara up at the top, what you wanna do is there this little eye here and this says prevent participants from moving through the presentation on their own. If I click this, now I've locked that ability for anyone to go forwards or backwards in the slides and they'll have to stick exactly to where I am. One final note, there will be more features coming to presenter view, things like laser pointer and some of the inking. This is the very first rollout, but it's a great improvement to what we've had before to show how this all works. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.